Hey, hey, it's John Vroman. Welcome to Four Minutes in the Front Row. Today I'm talking about validation and feedback. And I'm going to want your feedback. So if you're watching on YouTube, comment below. If you're listening on the podcast, go to frontrowfactor.com slash blog and join the conversation. But this topic has shown up for me several times in the last couple months. A one during an interview with Ni Shobo, who is a former running back for the New Orleans Saints. And, you know, it, this topic came up and uh, and I thought, man, I really want to explore this a bit more. And, and prior to that, it came up at Michael Port's graduate speaking program, which uh, he talked about when you're a speaker, the difference between looking for somebody to validate who you are or what you're saying and somebody who's going to give you feedback or coaching. Now, here's what I think about the two. I think validation has a lot to do with somebody confirming that you're okay, that your ideas are great, or that your product or service is great. It's about approving you. It's about saying you're okay. I think feedback has a lot to do with informing you, improving you, and making you better. So I see validation as confirmation, feedback as information. Validation as approval, feedback as improving. And I see validation as making me okay, but feedback is making me better. Now I'm not saying that validation has no place in your life. I think it's okay for you to be validated that your ideas or that what you're doing is working. But I think it's far more important that we search out for great feedback, that we find the right coaches in our lives that will give us feedback so that we can improve. We have to know that not everybody is gonna think our ideas are okay or that we're okay. A lot of people will disagree with you. I think that sometimes validation becomes too emotional where feedback can become more logical. You can be removed from the process alone and say, I'm just looking to improve. So you become a little less attached. Validation says, I believe so much in this. I want you to believe in it too. I want you to tell me it's okay. And if you don't, it makes me wrong. I'm hurt. I'm devastated. Feedback says, look, I'm a work in progress. I know this needs to be better. And I'm looking to get feedback from the world. I want to know your thoughts. How do you feel about validation or feedback? I think they're both important. But I think that in our lives, we need to be a little more interested in feedback and not so much in validation. That's it for today. Catch you next week. Until then, keep living your life in the front row.